Here we go. Awesome. <laughs> okay, gotta go over the colored marked bit. Here we go. All right. Looks like it needs three entry stones. Yeah, and I've got all three. Come on now. Still won't open? Looks like we need three. I have got three. Here we go. Shit, sure, sure, I'll have this one. Yeah, huh. it's, it's kind of run down in here. It is. What did you expect? I don't know. Less ruin, I guess. Maybe the throne room's in better shape. Look here, another. Star gather. Wow, that's a lot of arms. That's fair to say. Six, seven, eight. Could he shoot four bows at once? <laughs> More of a swordsman. He did only have the two eyes. It looks like Thor cut him down to size. It's what he does. Damn. Okay. I don't know if that's the way. Let's go this way. I think that's the way we're going. Oh no, this is the way we're going. Okay. Let's actually just go here. Because, uh... Oh, here we go, chest. <laughs> Epic enchantment increases the rate of permafrost or immolation gain by 7%. That's very nice. Okay, well done. Wow, okay. Do you hear that? Here we go. No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. And screams. Large crowd of people. Uh, oh just old spirits, I suppose. Leftover victims of the Mad Dwarf's reign. Still, that's rather ominous. Mm. They're getting louder. Yeah. They sound almost like... Hello! Oh! Wow! <laughs> My eyes.
I'm so OP. I'm so OP. That was a lot of Hellwalkers. Oh my god, that was just amazing. Oh, that was some amazing combat right there. Holy crap. Who was this? Hell Traveler. Oh. <laughs> well. Thankfully, it was no match for my uh, Spartan Rage. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, hold on. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, yup, this way. Where's the passage behind this throne? Mm -hmm. A secret passage! Well, wouldn't be a proper throne room without a secret passage. Turn to Brock and send his shot. Whoa. Boy. Wonder who wrote this. The Dwarf King, one of the sons of Ivaldi. He ruled over humans both in Vethergard and Konansgard. He was a good king at first, but then he started having dreams about his people dying. For some reason, he thought forcing them to hunt down deadly beasts was the way to save them. He captured three dragons to harvest their fury, killed innocent people to harvest their screams, and was then killed by those very same people when they returned as Hellwalkers. That created ultimate sacrifice. We can use these three ingredients to create some kind of legendary armor. Wow, that's crazy. Good lord. The things you pulled from him. Those must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. Mm -hmm. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with... whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. <laughs> they once made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. Yep. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head. Yep. Hold your horses. We've got another one of these chests around. Right, okay. What? What? Right. I see. You're chuffing, kidding me. Right, okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Whew, that one was a hell of a one. Okay. Ooh, nice horn. I wonder what this place looked like in better times. Conan's guard was a beautiful land in its heyday. 
Before the Dwarf King's obsession poisoned his mind. How could he let that happen? The Dwarf blindly trusted in the legend and pursued it without thought to the consequences. This is the result. Trust this is a gamble. Like you said, the Dwarf King lost. Alright, let's fast travel back to Brock and Sinji. You boys look right beaming. Well, the squirt does. <laughs> Can't see squat behind that furzel fuzz you call a beard. <laughs> we found the materials. But they're so weird. How do you build a piece of armor out of something so... So... Nanya. Nanya? Nanya fucking business. <laughs> Trade secret. We get our ways. Oh. Fire of Ares. Like oil and water. A slam attack that sends out a fiery wave. Ooh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I like this one. Press R2 after the first wave slams down the second wave. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, it's royal dwarf and breastplate. Damn. Level six. He looks funny. <laughs> he looks funny. <laughs> it's level six though. It's a level six armor. That's very nice. Yeah. I want to get this level seven one, but it looks like it's going to be hard. All right, I think we'll finish that. All right, guys and girls, we're going to finish that on God of War for now. So we just did a little bit of the story at the start, but lots of side missions. We freed a dragon, which is awesome. There's one more dragon that we need to find and free in the world. And uh, yeah, and then obviously the story as well. So I think I'm going to be back later and I'm actually going to continue on the main story, I think, and try and get the main story finished. And then I might do a couple of side missions post-game, um, kind of. There are sort of, I think, seven Valkyries that you have to try to take out to unlock this really awesome epic gear. Um, and there's another dragon I need to free as well. So I think I might uh, try and free that dragon as well uh, for you guys to see. Uh, just because a lot of the side missions are actually quite fun, quite interesting, as well as the main story mission. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. If you are enjoying it, please hit the like button. As always, you show your support. Uh, take care, guys and girls. And as always, happy gaming. Bye, guys.